Our high temperature today, 50 degrees, and you might be thinking you didn't feel 50 out there. That's because it was at midnight last night was our actual high temperature. And then the low temperature's been going down all day, and the low 32 degrees is the actual temperature out there right now. A little bit of everything out there today, as Patrick mentioned earlier. There was some wind out ahead of the cold front. We had snow, sleet, hail, thunder. Whoa! Hello, my name is Jesus de la Garza, and it is my privilege and honor to serve as the superintendent of the Chinle Unified School District. The Chinle Unified School District has seven schools and over 3,800 students. We are the largest public school district in the Navajo Nation with the largest Native American population. Hey, hello. My name is Melba Martin. I am the Director of Exceptional Student Services for the Chinle Unified School District. We are fortunate to take some of our students from the Salie Public Elementary School on a field trip to visit Meteor Crater near Winslow, Arizona and Sunset Crater Volcano near Flagstaff, Arizona. These places are significant to our Navajo students because they are reference points for sacred areas on the Navajo Nation. These places are similar to the lunar landscape. NASA's astronauts train for the Apollo missions at Meteor Crater. These places continue to be of value today as we educate the next generation of researchers. A new form of life, a new form of civilization, a new form of, of uh, geographical change. This had a great effect. I feel that I am in, in, in a site, in a respectable place. I felt the wind out there. The wind was strong and powerful. The same, the same effect that this, this crater does have, it, it does have this powerful uh, 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 in existence. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. A little breezy out there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's normal for us out here. All right. <laughs> and let's imagine it's about 50,000 years ago. And you're standing right here where you're standing now, but there's no big hole in the ground. But instead, you look up in the sky and you see something really, really bright, all of a sudden lighting up the sky. It's this big chunk of iron. Now here, this is just a little tiny piece of it. Okay, imagine something about, oh, 63,000 tons coming in at 36,000 miles an hour. It slams into our atmosphere. And when it hits, it's like an atomic bomb going off. A comet. And some of those planets bump into each other. It's kind of like a great big cosmic game of bumper cars. Who is Gene Shoemaker? Gene Shoemaker was a geologist. And actually, more than that, we say he was an astrogeologist. He studied impact craters like this one. There was still a lot of doubt, a lot of different versions of how this crater came to be. Was it from a volcano or was it from an impact? And Gene Shoemaker here dug up the rocks that actually told the story of how the ground came to be. And these rocks told the story of a very powerful impact. And so he was able to demonstrate that, in fact, this crater was formed by a meteorite impact. When we look out 
we're in the solar system. We look on Mars, we look on the moon, we see volcanoes happen there too. And if we're lucky and the weather holds for us today, we'll get to see some good volcanoes close up. Who here has been to a volcano? Has anyone actually been to a volcano? You have been to a volcano. Okay, well, we'll see if we can get close up and personal with some volcanoes and lava flows. Okay? You see a eruption came out of the top of that, and then a lava flow broke out of the side and it's flowing down here. Is that one black on one part? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to come back out. 